Hi, I'm Joshua from tinyhousebasics.com and we're here to show you the differences between a couple of our tiny house trailers. Uh, this one has st standard straight beam axles and this one on the right has drop axles. That is one of the number one things we get asked about is what are the advantages of drop axles versus straight axles. So here we have two 20 foot tiny house trailers. This one is a 20 foot by 102 inch wide on 10K, uh, 10K gross capacity and this one is 20 feet by 99 inches wide on 10K gross capacity. This one we'll be shortly building a tiny house shell on for our customer. And then this one will be going up to Sacramento for our college and the students to build it. So we'll take you a little view around each trailer and so you can visually see the differences. All right, the first trailer we're gonna show you is from our Southern California manufacturer. This is just on standard straight beam axles. So the deck height is about 26 inches off the ground. So it's just about 26. And then with drop axles, it'll lower it another four inches like that one. So we'll take you around this one first. So on a standard um, straight beam axle trailer, the fenders are gonna be about nine inches above the deck. About nine, 10 inches above the deck. The drop axle trailer, since the deck is lower, it'll have much higher fenders. So you can see on this, on this trailer, it comes standard with the cross members drop three inches below, which is what the customer requested. That way they could build a wood subframe and drop it inside the trailer. Um, even though the cross members are three inches below, it still has heavy duty three inch by two inch C channel cross members. So this gives the trailer frame a rigid structure no matter where they're placed. So they're inside the frame rails versus underneath the trailer, which would provide a weaker, less rigid trailer foundation. And we'll take you over to the drop axle trailer and show you a couple of the differences. This one, the drop axle trailer, is built from our Washington manufacturer. Same exact specs of these two trailers. This will have the cross members drop three inches below also for the same type of subframe planning. So you can see the height of the, the trailer is just about 21 inches. They seem to range about 21 to about 22 inches for a drop axles on any of our tiny house trailers. This one is pretty much identical to that one, uh, the California trailer, but this will have um, box tube framing and that one has C-channel. Uh, but same exact specs, uh, just a little bit more narrow because we will be building a tiny house shell on this. And so we choose 99 inches wide. So when the finished um, exterior siding is placed on there and the trim, the full house will be a full 102 inches wide or eight and a half feet wide. We'll take you up to the front of it so you can view it. So you can see again that the height of the deck is about 21 inches. This main four inch difference may not seem like a lot, but it is when it comes to building the tiny house and having the space in the loft. The entry into the tiny house is a lot easier. So you can see even on here, it's just an easy step up into the house. And then if we look at the standard trailer, it's, a, it's definitely a, a much higher step into it. So you're gonna be gaining about four or five inches in your loft uh, for headroom. Um, and you're gonna have a lower, easier approach inside the tiny house. Um, less stairs to build, lower deck, so there's a lot of benefits um, to get the drop axles on your tiny house trailer and the price on it runs $125 per axle. So this is a two axle trailer. So it's just $250 extra and they are rated to handle the weight for whatever capacity. So a 10K trailer, 10K trailer, no matter the axles, they can both handle the weight equally. All right. Thank you. And uh, tune in next time for our next walk around video of our tiny house trailers.